Yo, 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 what's up, people? It's your boy Rich the Rookie here. Uh, I know it's long overdue, but I thought I'd just do a quick video on my thoughts of Close Quarters. Uh, that's Battlefield 3 Close Quarters on the Xbox 360. Um, like everyone else, I was dying to play this thing. Like, I mean, I was borderline ready to go postal just to get a taste of this new D DLC. And, you know, when it finally dropped and I was able to download it, uh, I think it's safe to say I was probably the happiest man alive. Until I started playing it. You know, I'm not gonna lie, when the excitement kind of wore off, it honestly just felt like I was playing Call of Duty. And you know, that, that's not a bad thing, it just didn't feel like Battlefield to me. Now, I know for you Battlefield 3 fanatics and you BF3 fanboys and girls, that's probably the last thing that you guys want to hear, but I'm just telling it how it is, that's all I can do. You know, in all honesty, those were my thoughts back then. And you know, and back then, it just felt like it lacked the qualities that made Battlefield Battlefield. And you know, what I mean by that is that, you know, just the level of strategy and tactics that went into playing the bigger maps. And, you know, just the level of teamwork as well that was incorporated with that. So, um, all I can say is, thank God I didn't do a video back then. Because that's exactly what I would have told you guys. Now, on the other hand, damn, I, you know, I think it's safe to say that I'm in love with Battlefield 3 Close Quarters. And, you know, much respect to EA and DICE for bringing out game modes that not only appeal to a wider audience, I guess, is what they were aiming for here. But I guess for, you know, like a Battlefield veteran like myself, I guess it just kind of serves as a great way to change it all up. Uh, so what I'm going to talk about first here, guys, is uh, my favorite weapon out of the uh, 10 brand new weapons in the uh, Close Quarters DLC. And then I'm going to talk about my favorite map and how I like to approach those different maps and, and my favorite game mode as well. So my favorite gun so far out of all of the, um, the, the 10 brand new weapons that came with the uh, DLC would have to be the Org A3 which I'm using on screen at the moment. You know, uh, at first I was a bit iffy because, you know, sometimes it would work for me, sometimes it wouldn't. But, um, you know, definitely this gun is a beast. You know, chuck a foregrip on it. Uh, I always equip it with the foregrip. I have the uh, Cobra Red Dot sight for it as well. And uh, with that, I put the silencer, either the silencer or the um, uh, the laser sight. Because the laser sight definitely helps with your hip fire accuracy. And I found that the silencer just seems to help as well. I don't know if it's a placebo effect, but it... You know, definitely kicks ass. Um, I know uh, iBoxy, he's got 27 service stars with it already. Like, come on, dude, take it easy. Uh, my second favorite weapon following up close behind that would have to be the M-Type. Um, this gun is a bit of a freak weapon. I think it's uh, one of those guns that you can definitely call a beast. Um, the reason for that is it, it has no real reason for it to be that strong. I think it's just because, um, you know, Battlefield 3, you know, EA and DICE kind of felt bad for leaving the Engineer class out of this one. Because, you know, the, if you have a look at it, the Recon class got the M417, which is a great weapon. Um, overpowered, I think. Um, and then you've got, you know, the uh, Med class, which is the Assault class. And we've got the Org A3 and all the other weapons as well. There's no real weapon apart from the ACWR, which in my opinion is a shit gun. Um, that really caters uh, for the engineers, so I think that's why they gave the uh, the MTAR to the engineer class, just as a novelty act, I guess, as a novelty gun. But um, leave your thoughts down below, and you know, tell me what your favorite gun is in the comment section below, because I'd love to hear your thoughts on, you know, uh, your favorite weapon, um, whether it's the Spars 12, the M5K, which I thought was shit, uh, and a couple of the other guns there as well. Now my favorite map so far out of all of these maps would have to be either Zebra Tower or um, Scrap Metal. Man, I, I love these two maps and what I normally do is uh, for, for Zebra Tower for example, I always just uh, kind of go in between two objectives. So say, say for example if I'm playing Domination and there's A, B and C on Zebra Tower, I don't even bother with A, I just go between B and C because I find that the distances between B and A and C and A are where most people die. And I find if you kind of just stay between uh, B and C, you, you should be sweet. Um, with Scrap Metal, I kind of do the same thing as well, uh, except I go between A and C. Uh, I kind of leave uh, B completely untouched. Now the reason for that is is because we've got other squads in our team that kind of go for B as well. But mainly because if you hold down two objectives the whole game and protect those two objectives, then you, you pretty much got the game in the bag. Uh, unless of course your team sucks. 
So yeah, those are my favorite guns and my favorite maps. Um, now for my favorite game modes. I think my favorite game mode on the Conquest maps would have to be Domination by far. The best way to get points. Like you can burn few points on this thing. Um, on top of that, one thing that I'm not too happy with is uh, Gunmaster. I don't know, unless they change something with it or they do something about it, I'm not going to play it. But uh, yeah, you know, at first it was just like, dude, who selected these weapons? And what the hell is a JNG sniper rifle doing in a close quarters map? But uh, anyway, leave your comments down below. Let me know what your favorite gun is and why it's your favorite gun. And if I've said anything bad about the guns here uh, today, then let me know why you think it's a good gun. And also let me know what your favorite map is and what your strategy is when you're approaching those maps on different game modes. So I'm Rich the Rookie, Nizula.com people. I've just done a couple of uh, new improvements to the website, so I'd love for you guys to head over there and check it all out. And um, you know, give me your feedback because that's the only way I can better myself. And please, please, please like and subscribe. I, I can't stress that enough. You know, I put time and effort into these videos, and I just want to see that you guys are enjoying them at least, so that way I can continue to make more. So I'm Rich the Rookie signing out. I hope you guys have a great day. Peace. Got your first aid over here.